بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے آئی وانٹ ٹو ایڈوائز آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف اسٹیٹسٹکس ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اف یو وانٹ ٹو اپیئر ان اینی ریٹرن ٹیسٹ آف اسٹیٹسٹکس فار اینی پوسٹ یو شوڈ ہیو اے گرپ آن آل دا بیسک کانسیپٹس آف اسٹیٹسٹکس فار اٹیننگ دیٹ ٹاسک آئی بینگ اے پروفیسر آف اسٹیٹسٹکس have started basic statistics course and today it is lecture number 14 of that course we have started a very important topic of probability distributions before starting today's precious lecture for you i request everyone subscribe to my channel like and share my channel and click the bell icon for the notifications of the next important videos let's start question number one is If x has binomial distribution, there are two parameters n is 18 and p is 1 over 3, then what is the shabby chef's lower bound for the probability 1 is less than x less than 11? A very important question for all the written tests of statistics. Dear students, first of all we will have to find out the mean. In binomial we know mean is np, n is given that is 18. multiply p probability is given that is 1 by 3 if you cancel 3 6 18 that will be 6 and if you find out the variance it is n p q just substitute the values n is 18 multiply p is 1 over 3 and q is 1 minus p that will be 2 by 3 3 ones are 3 six are 18 3 ones are 3 three twos are six two twos are four if variance is four then standard deviation will be under root four that will be two now we know shabby chef is lower bound probability x minus mu modulus less than equal to k sigma greater than equal to 1 minus 1 over k square and we are given x is equal to 1 we have to put 1 first of all 1 minus mean is 6 less than equal to x minus mu less than equal to the other value of x which is 11 given 11 minus 6 1 minus 6 is minus 5 less than equal to x minus mu less than equal to 11 minus 6 is 5 now we can write it x minus mu less than equal to x minus mu modulus less than equal to 5 now just compare probability x minus mu modulus less than equal to k sigma if you compare 5 will be equal to k sigma is it means k sigma is equal to 5 and sigma we are we have calculated that was 2 k multiplied by 2 is equal to 5 k is equal to 5 by 2 now just put in this much 1 minus 1 over k square 1 minus 1 over the square of 5 by 2 that will be equal to one minus one over five square is twenty five over four one minus four over twenty five take the lcm twenty five minus four twenty one over twenty five will be the correct option in the exam when you are to find out the probability of p one less than x less than eleven with the help of the shabby chef's lower bound first of all you have to calculate mean of the binomial distribution and sigma just substitute the values and find out the probability that will be 21 over 25 question number 2 is in the usual notation probability of x is equal to 0 for the binomial distribution there are four options we know in the binomial distribution probability x is equal to 0 is equal to nc x means 0 p raised to power x x is 0 and q raised to power n minus x x is 0 and we know 5c 0 it is 1 nc 0 that will also be equal to 1 nc 0 is 1 5 raised to power 0 p raised to power 0 will be 1 and q raised to power n and that will be q raised to power n and q is equal to 1 minus p whole power n it means a will be the correct option in the exam Question number three is 
if in a binomial distribution probability of x less than equal to 4 is equal to 0 0.964 and probability of x less than equal to 3 is equal to 0 0.6426 then what is the probability of x is equal to 4 a very technical question dear students we know that probability of x less than equal to 4 means probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2 plus probability of x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 4 and it means probability x less than equal to 3 means probability of 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 it means we can write probability of x less than equal to 4 minus probability of x less than equal to 3 is equal to probability of x is equal to 4 now just minus subtract these two values 0 0.964 minus 0 0.6426 and the answer will be 0 0.3214 that will be the correct option in the exam Question number 4 is, in a binomial distribution, the occurrence and non-occurrence of an event are equally likely and the mean is 8. In question number 4, mean is given for the binomial distribution that is 8. It means NP is equal to 8 is given and one information is given, the probability of occurrence and non-occurrence is equally likely. It means P is equal to Q is equal to 1 over 2 is given n in, into 1 over 2 is equal to 8 2 will be multiplied on the right side and that will be 16 n is equal to 16 the number of trials how many number of trials will be required it will be 16 will be the correct option in the exam question number 5 is if a random variable x follows binomial distribution with parameters n and p then the mean of the truncated binomial distribution truncated at x is equal to 0 is n p over 1 minus q raised to power n question number 6 is if for a binomial distribution mean is equal to 4 and variance is equal to 4 by 3 then the probability p x greater than equal to greater than 5 it will be equal to a very important question we know mean is always equal to np and that is equal to 4 and variance is equal to npq and that is also equal to 4 over 3 now if we divide them npq over np is equal to 4 by 3 divided by 4 np will be cancelled with np 4 will be cancelled with 4 it means q is equal to 1 by 3 and p will be equal to 2 by 3 substitute the value of p in equation number 1 np is equal to 4 n multiplied by p is 2 by 3 is equal to 4 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 3 will be multiplied on the right side 3 to the 6 it means number of trials are 6 it means x will be equal to 6 a very technical question find the probability x greater than 5 means only you are to find out the probability of x is equal to 6 we cannot go beyond that limit we cannot go more than 6 now we are to find out the probability of x is equal to 6 probability of x is equal to 6 means 6 c 6 p is 2 by 3 2 by 3 power 2 by 3 raised to power 6 and 1 by 3 raised to power 6 minus 6 is 0 6 c 6 is 1 and 2 by 3 raised to power 6 into 1 it means 2 by 3 raised to power 6 will be the correct option in the exam question number 8 is 10 multiplied by probability of x is equal to 4 is equal to probability of x is equal to 2 then what is the probability of success when n is equal to 8 in the binomial distribution a very important question just we will take the support of this equation which is given 10 multiplied by 8 c 4 p raised to power 4 q raised to power n minus x it is 4 is equal to 8 c 2 p raised to power 2 q raised to power 8 minus 2 which is 6 10 multiply 8 c 4 means 8 factorial over 4 factorial and the factorial of 8 minus 4 it is 4 factorial p raised to power 4 q raised to power 4 is equal to 
8 factorial over 2 factorial 8 minus 2 is 6 factorial p square q raised to power 6 now 8 factorial will be cancelled with 8 factorial we can write 10 p power 4 divided by p square is p square over we can write it 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 factorial and 4 factorial as it is q power 4 divided by q6 it, it will be q square over 2 factorial as it is and 6 factorial can be written as 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 factorial now you can cancel 4 factorial with 4 factorial 2 factorial with 2 factorial and you can say 2 2 the 4 2 5 the 10 2 1 the 2 2 3 the 6 3 will be cancelled with 3 and the last answer is 5 5 the 25 p square is equal to q square 25 p square is equal to we know q is equal to 1 minus p whole square 25 p square is equal to a minus b whole square is a square 1 square plus p square minus 2p you will have to shift on the left side 25 p square minus p square plus 2p minus 1 is equal to 0 24 p square plus 2p minus 1 is equal to 0 now we will take the help of the factorization 24 p square plus 6p minus 4p minus 1 is equal to 0 just a common 6p is common 6 4s are 24p plus 1 minus 1 4p plus 1 is equal to 0 6p minus 1 into 4p plus 1 is equal to 0 6p minus 1 is equal to 0 p is equal to 1 by 6 will be the correct option in the exam I will request to all the students please comment on today's lecture. Assalamu alaikum.